atrial fibrillation which is an irregular heartbeat which is commonest rhythm disorder in the world today usually happen from the left upper chamber of the heart that is left auricle around the pulmonary veins and the left auricle started you know auricle started beating around 500 to 600 beats per minute so when it happens at the initial stage it is called paroxysmal that is comes and goes it lasts for few minutes to few hours and subsides on its own then it it's a progressive disease after some point in that time it goes into persistent it lasts for longer period of time it brings the patient to the emergency and they have to take some intravenous medications or electrical cardioversions to bring back the normal rhythm in atrial fibrillation the auricula started working around 500 600 beats per minute it is fibrillating so practically it is not pumping the blood so the patient's cardiac output comes down they feel low and they feel palpitation and a lot of symptoms like giddiness and breathlessness and uh, low energy weakness or these are heart failure related symptoms apart from that you know the heart beats unnecessarily because of fast heart muscles get weakened so this leads to heart failure tachycardia myopathy it precipitates heart failure or the patient's already heart is weak because some reason old heart attack or something when this further efficiency goes down they lead to fastly they get into heart failure problem that is a main problem with atrial fibrillation other most important problem with atrial fibrillation risk related atrial fibrillation is stroke because auricle is not contracting and pumping the blood blood stagnates it forms a clots the clots can go to the brain any time it can lead to stroke that is a deadly side of risk of atrial fibrillations the patients five times higher risk of getting stroke compared to the normal person cryobull nublation is a catheter based procedure done from the groin region under local anesthesia with some iv sedation or some short general anesthesia we take the balloon inside the heart in the left auricle and using the cooling energy we disable the electrical activities around the pulmonary vein ostial region by creating a tiny scar around it so by doing that we can avoid genesis of abnormal electrical activity which is called atrial fibrillation from the left auricle so this has a success rate of 80 to 85 percent This is a short procedure takes only 60 to 90 minutes time and many times we do as a day care procedure patient gets admitted in the morning getting discharged in the evening or next day morning so because of the shorter duration of procedure and iv uh, on just simple sedation even it can be considered in a elderly population which is those who are disabled with this atrial fibrillation they should be quick enough to opt for catheter based procedure that is called cryobullen ablation which is can be done under day care procedure shorter and quicker procedure and also carries success rate of 80 to 85% by doing that we can avoid taking medications uh, that is that is antiarrhythmic medications we can reduce the risk of developing heart failure we can reduce the risk of uh, stroke and also we can avoid progression of the disease in a longer term follow up concern